Okay, so we're going to have a look at 84 divided by 3 first. Okay, now the first thing we need to do is partition 84 into two numbers that are in the 3 times table because we're dividing by 3. Okay, so that means we're doing the 3 times table. So hopefully you know your 3 times table really well. So if I partition 84, I can partition it the usual way, can't I, which would be 80 and 4. But do those numbers, or are those numbers, in the 3 times table? Well, I know that 4 isn't in the 3 times table, is it? Because I can have one group of 3, but then I've got one remainder, haven't I? Okay, so 4 isn't, isn't in the 3 times table. So that way wouldn't work. So I need a different way. So that's where it can get a little bit tricky, and that's where we need to practice. So instead of doing 80 and 4, if I multiply, I could do it really quickly, I could multiply 3 by 10, which will get to 30. And then what's the other number that I would need? 30 and what? Good. 50, 4. Okay, so I could partition it that way. OK, that could work. But is there an easier way? Because I know that 54, I mean, that is in the three times table, but it would be really tricky to work that out, wouldn't it? So what other number or what other numbers could I partition 84 into? Pause the video and have a go at partitioning 84 into different ways. So a really easy way to partition 84 into two different numbers would be to do 60. 60, I know, is in the three times table. How many times does 3 fit into 60? Well, if I know that 10 times 3 is 30, let's write it here. 10 times 3, I know, is 30. So what do I multiply 3 by to get to 60? Good, 20, don't I? Super. So 3 fits into 60 20 times. What's the other number that I need in order to get my whole of 84? Good, 24. Now, if you know your 3 times table, how many times does 3 fit into 24? Let's count. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. How many times? 8. Good. So now I can add my 10s and my 1s. So 20 add 8 is 28. Super. Okay, now moving on, let's have a look at 36 divided by 4. So again, we are using our four times table because I'm dividing by four. So let's partition 36 into two different numbers that are both in the four times table. So pause the video, have a look at your hundred square and highlight your four times table. Now for this one, if I did 30 and six partitioned, is 30 in the four times table? No, it's not, is it? And is 6 in the 4 times table? No, it's not. So I can't use that way to partition. So let's think of a different way. What if I had 20? Because I can see that 20 is in the 4 times table. So what other number would I have to get to 36? 20 add something is 36. 16. Is 16 in the 4 times table? Yes, it is. So let's go through this then. How many 4s are in 20? So one, two, three, four, five. Five fours are in 20. And how many fours are in 16? Good, four, isn't there? So now I can add five, add four is nine. So there are nine lots of four in 36. Okay, let's have a look at this one. 75 divided by five. So that's asking how many fives are in 75. Now 75 is quite a big number to use and to work out for your five times table. 
So I'm going to partition 75 into two different numbers that are both in the five times table and that are both easy to work out as well. So a good way to do this is to multiply 10 by 5, which is 50, isn't it? Because 10 times 5 is 50. And what's my other number going to be? So 50 add something is 75. Good. 25, isn't it? Super. So now what I can do is I can take each number and divide it by 5. So how many 5s are in 50? Oops. Good. So it's 10, isn't it? Let me just get my blue pen. There we go. 10. And how many 5s are in 25? Good. 5. So then I add 10 and 5 together and it gets 15. So you need to know your times tables really well to be able to find the best numbers that are partitioned. OK, let's have a go at this one. 68 divided by 4. So this time I need to know my 4 times table, don't I? So let's have a look. I'm going to partition 68 into two numbers that are in the 4 times table. So what two numbers are in the 4 times table? Well, if I multiply the 4 by 10, that will give me 40. So that will give me my first number because 4 times 10 is 40, isn't it? What's my other number going to be? Good. 28. So let's go back. How many 4s are in 40? Good. 10. And how many 4s are in 28? Look at your 100 square to help you. Good. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 groups of 4. So 7 times 4 is 28. Then add 10 and 7 together is 17. So your answer is 17. OK, and the last one, 96 divided by 4. So again, I'm focusing on my 4 times table, aren't I? OK, so I need to partition 96 into two numbers that are in the 4 times table. So is 90 in the 4 times table? Can I partition it 90 and 6? What do you think? Pause the video and have a go. So if I did 90 and 6, is 6 in the 4 times table? So, 4, 8. Oh, no, it's not. No, I haven't circled 6. So, 6 is not in the 4 times table. Why isn't 6 in the 4 times table? Pause the video and try to explain. Okay, so 6 isn't in the 4 times table. So, that way, that partitioned way doesn't work. So, instead, what could I do? Let's try 80. So, if I had 80, 80 and what? 16. Are both of those numbers in the 4 times table? Let's check. So if I know 4 times 10 is 40, I know that double 40 is 80, isn't it? Good. So how many 4s would be in 80? 20. Good. And how many 4s are in 16? Let's count. 4, 8, 12, 16. How many groups of 4 have I circled? 4. Good. Now I can do 20 add 4 is 24, isn't it? So I hope this helped you. Try and, when you're working these out, try and think about what is your timetable that you're using and then think about what the best number is to fit that particular partitioned number as well.